classification of embedded systems embedded systems are classified into different types based on different criteria or parameters one of the parameter is generation generation means as the technology advances the hardware configuration and software configuration will be updated so based on this emissions are classified so based on generation embedded systems are classified into different types first one first generation embedded systems in this generation embedded systems are designed by using 8 bit microprocessors like 8085 z 80 or 4 bit microcontrollers and the firmware is developed using assembly language programming examples for the first generation embedded system sir digital telephone keypad stepper motor next second generation embedded systems are designed by using 16 bit microprocessors or 8 bit microcontrollers and the firmware may contains embedded operating system examples for second second generation embedded systems are super visionary control and data acquisition systems means data gathering or camera digital cam capture the information store the information display the information like that. data acquisition capturing the uh, current information next coming to third generation the technology advances leads to design the application specific integrated circuits digital signal processors improves the performance like improves the speed so third generation emissions are designed by using 32 bit microprocessors or 16 bit microcontrollers uh, it also contains uh, application specific integrated circuits or digital signal processors and the firmware is developed by using embedded operating system next fourth generation embedded systems are designed by using the advanced processing elements like 64 bit microprocessors or 32 bit microcontrollers or multi core processors or field programmable gate arrays or programmable system on chips and it the firmware contains embedded os examples are our smartphones advanced smartphones next based on complexity and performance requirements that means application complexity so based on the complexity and performance requirements embedded systems are classified into small scale embedded systems medium scale embedded systems and large scale embedded systems in small scale embedded systems we are designing the simple applications like video games or simple electronic toys so this uh, small scale embedded system designed uh, using 16 bit microprocessors or 8 bit microcontrollers and the firmware 
is developed using assembly language program that means that contains few instructions that contains few instructions next medium scale here we are designing a medium applications like basic mobile phones smart cards or washing machines dvd players like that so medium scale application embedded systems are designed by using 32 bit micro processors or 16 bit microcontrollers or asics application specific integrated circuits like atm cards and digital signal processors or calculators next large scale embedded systems here come uh, these are very uh, complex applications like nuclear plant even small leakage occurs uh, it's very difficult to design so in this case we are using we are design we are using the hardware like uh, multi core processors programmable system on chips and uh, uh, 64 bit microprocessors and controllers and uh, field programmable gate arrays and asic and digital signal processors so, uh, and it contains embedded operating systems examples are nuclear plants next based on deterministic behavior so determine the behavior means a determine in the sense uh, when it will be responded means we know the time within that time that will be reacted so based on this deterministic behavior embedded systems are classified into two types one is hard real time embedded systems here missing of deadline may cause loss of life or properties example airbags if airbags will not open within the fraction of seconds the uh, person may hit the objects and loss of lives or recent vizag uh, lg polymers since it is not uh, responded within fraction of seconds so some few members uh, they lost their lives like that the type of embedded systems is called hard real time embedded systems means missing of deadline may cause loss of life or properties second soft real time embedded systems here missing of deadline may cause inconvenience like smart cards washing machines like that next triggering triggering means when the event will be occurred when the event will be triggered so here triggering will be happen in two ways first one is based on time we are defining the time at particular time the task will be do that type of embedded systems is called time triggered embedded systems like our alarms alarms in our mobile phones or we are in the schools colleges campuses they are putting alarm at particular time the bell will be ringing like that so first one is time triggered embedded systems here based on the time defined by the user the task will be performed example at particular time the doors will be closed or open or we can define ourselves up end user will define that next event triggered embedded systems whenever particular event occurs corresponding event will be happened suppose whenever any person comes nearer to the escalator the escalator will be on whenever any human beings move away from the escalator the escalator will be off like that 
or airbags. Whenever any accident occurs, airbags will be opened. Like that. Whenever particular event occurs, corresponding task will be executed. That we call event triggered embedded systems. Next. Host and target concept. Host means the system on which we can design our desired applications. Examples, our laboratories. In our laboratories, in the desktop computer, in the desktop computer, we are designing our desired applications. Either switch, either for uh, analog digital conversions, either uh, transferring the data, like that. Or like our VLSA, embedded system lab. In our embedded systems lab, we are using the desktop computer to design our applications. Next, target. Target means the device on which we need to check the performance. Uh, our target device. So, where we want to install the programs and use it in our daily life. Our mobile phones, smart cards, all these are the target devices. So, example for this one is our VLS and embedded system laboratory. So, in the embedded system lab, in the desktop computer, we are designing the applications and then we are connecting this desktop to the our target system by using this USB cable and whatever the application we are designing here that will be loaded into the target device and verify the performance. The system on which we can design the desired applications. That system is called host system. The system we can use in our embedded systems that is called target system. The desired system is the target system. The desired system is the target. So, the configuration of the desk, uh, host system is like our desktop computer configuration. Like Intel Core i3 processor, 2 GHz clock frequency, 8 GB RAM, uh, 1 TB hard disk. Next, keyboard is the input device or microphone is the input device. Monitor is the Monitor is the output device and USB cable is the communication devices along with some additional hardware circuits. The target system configuration is it is a 32 bit microcontroller based on ARM Cortex M4F processor. Its clock frequency is 80 megahertz. It contains 256 kilobytes flash memory, 32 kilobytes SD RAM, and similarly 2 kilobytes E square P ROM and ROM. Similarly, it, uh, it contains uh, it getting the input from desktop computers or some pins. These pins are available input pins and output pins for getting the input and output data. And output uh, some additional hardware circuits are voltage regulator to provide the constant output, comparators, analog to digital conversions, temperature sensor is the input device, clock systems for providing the uh, timing reference. Next, watchdog timer, uh, which verify the behavior of the system. Is, is it working in the proper manner or not? Like this, all these are additional hardware circuits and communication devices are USB, USI, UART, SPI, Canon ISCOS. This is the target system configuration. Like that, we can design our applications.